And welcome to a quarantined episode of Spin Your Jaw. Through this series, I'll be introducing you to fighters across the globe. But at the moment, lockdown has some different plans for us. So instead of going to different gyms, I'll be introducing you to fighters directly through the power of the internet. And something called Zoom? If you want to see more fighting videos and interviews, then hit that subscribe button and join me for more episodes of Spin Your Jaw. But to start, I thought what better way to introduce this series by giving you a better idea about me and the history of women's boxing. So I didn't grow up in a sport-loving household. My dad was a West Ham supporter and would sometimes have the football on in the house, you know, when they were winning. He boxed in the Marines and that was something I knew but it was never really spoken about until I discovered my love for the sport. My mum just hates violence. So the idea of people hitting each other for sport is just not her cup of tea. I spent the majority of my childhood and teenage years dancing and being heavily involved in athletics, which was mainly 200 metre sprint and relay at nationals every year. My sister first got me on the pads when I was 15 and having a hard time at school. I then did a bit of boxing through uni, but to be honest, societies just aren't really my thing. So I didn't box regularly until I moved home and I joined an Irish gym. I then moved to London and I now work in sports broadcasting and that's me, which is probably a good thing because you probably sat at home thinking, all right, George, shut up now. So I'll get into a very condensed version of the history of women's boxing. So for years and years, women's boxing has struggled to make its way to mainstream sport. We debuted early on in shows and if you've ever been to a professional fight, you know that at six o'clock there's a minimal audience and in my experience, that's when the women fight, sometimes before the cameras are even rolling. But all of that is changing. Let me take you back to the early 1700s. We had fighters such as Elizabeth Wilkinson, who boxed both men and women. They both boxed bare chest and bare knuckled. And whether you're a fighter or not, you know that bare knuckle fighting is ruthless. There were no rounds, no weight divisions, and essentially it was a bloody brutal brawl which, if you've ever been up north on a Saturday night, is what we love. Fast forward to the 19th century, women's boxing was illegal and the British Evangelical Christian movement labelled women's involvement in the sport an abomination. Women's boxing did appear at the 1904 Olympic Games, but only as a demonstration bout. 116 years later, women are still fighting for equality in sport. It wasn't until 1998 that Jane Couch became the first officially licensed fighter in the UK. Initially, the British Boxing Border Control refused to give Jane a professional license on the sole ground that she was a woman and argued that PMS made women too unstable to box. In my view, women's boxing does not have the same respect that men's boxing has. The Olympic Committee didn't reinstate women's boxing as an Olympic sport again until 2012. But let's fast forward to 2020 and let me introduce you to our very own female Team GB, who all battled it out at the Copper Box in the hopes to go to the now 2021 Olympics. Lauren Price, an all-rounded, talented sportswoman. She's a Welsh boxer, kickboxer and former footballer. She's also the first Welsh woman to win a Commonwealth Games boxing medal. She's also got a European Games gold medal and World Championship gold medal. She is one to watch. Caroline Dubois, at 19, has such an incredible career and so much ahead of her. She's been Youth Olympic Champion, World Youth Champion and four times Olympic Youth Champion. Rosie Eccles, she's won silver medals at the 2016 Women's European Amateur Boxing Championships and at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. In 2019, she was selected to compete at the European Games and she's also competed at the World Championships. Karis Artingstall is a Women's World Championship bronze medalist and she also holds a silver medal for the Women's European Championship. Charlie Davidson, an English national amateur champion, former youth champion and also, incredibly, a mum of three. Now, I've been looking after my nephew for the past four weeks in lockdown and I don't have any energy to train, so Charlie Davidson, you are an absolute hero. I think it's time we stop treating women's sport as a second choice, just something else to watch, and start seeing it for what it is, which is bloody brilliant. So support women in sport, support women's sport, and hopefully we can achieve equality sooner rather than later. And that's all from me, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time for another episode of Spin Your Jaw.